Recently, in the spirit of lockdown, Rosette has been watching TV much more than before. The only way for her to spend time and to keep her loneliness at bay. Yes, this is what I do. Usually during the day, I go outside. Now I have no choice, but I still go out. I go to the places where people don't. I wear a mask. When I see someone on the right, I go to the left. We have to learn how to live in this situation. My children can no longer come to see me at home. It's very difficult for me because I used to be very close to them, but we have no choice. A new hardship for Rosette. Born in France in the 30s, she has already survived the worst. The current pandemic will last for a certain period of time, maybe one year or two, until they find a vaccine. But compared to what happened during the war, this is nothing, nothing at all. Rosette has lived in this area of Haifa for almost two years after the organization Yad Ezra Lachaver provided her with an apartment. This NGO was founded in the early 2000s in order to help the Holocaust survivors in need. Today, Yad Ezra Lachaver provides, amongst others, more than 120 survivors with free apartments. They all live in this street. But this year, for Shimon Sebag, founder and chairman of the organization, the Holocaust Remembrance Day is different. Today, you'll only see a few people. Usually, the street is crowded for a ceremony. We have between 5,000 and 7,000 participants. Still, even during this time of crisis, it's important not to forget the atrocities that happened in the history of the Jewish people. Not to forget the atrocities, but above all, we must not forget those who have been through them. Just like Shalom, one of the last survivors of the Warsaw Ghetto who can tell his story to the new generations, he has always had to rely on himself only. I have lived hell on earth, and I'm the only survivor from my entire family. The state never gave me anything. The state of Israel has done better during those last years. For instance, nowadays, Holocaust survivors don't have to pay to get their medicine. They receive more assistance from the government than before. But it's still incomplete, and for some of them, it's not enough. Besides, there's too much administrative work to do, and it happens frequently that survivors don't receive all that is due to them according to the law. More than 190,000 Holocaust survivors live in Israel today. Amongst them, a quarter just survive under the poverty line.